Okay, welcome back. We can't talk about ScreenFlow 4 without mentioning video filters, which is a brand new feature set added to ScreenFlow 4, which basically allows you to add Photoshop-like effects to your video. This is a really powerful feature and the variety of effects allows your creativity to really extend itself during your production process. So let's have a look at one or two of the effects right now. First of all, I'm going to select an element in my timeline. Table just slides in. So I want to look to add a video filter to this. So all you have to do is select that track, go to your video properties panel, and down here in your video filters, just press plus. That's going to bring up a sub menu. We've seen the chroma key before, but let's look at something different. How about a blur motion? So select the video filter that you want, press add, and as you can see, that track has now blurred. Each of the filters has adjustments within it. So for example here, I can adjust how much blur I want on that track. All right, if you don't actually like what the effect is doing to your track, just press X here and start all over. Grab another one, and maybe we'll do a motion blur. This one allows me to change my angle and the radius of the blur. And let's say when the table slides in, that I also want to, you know, bring it into focus. So I can do a video action and then just bring this back down to zero. There we go. Maybe we can slow that down a little bit so it's happening kind of like at the same time. I could see you using this for things like intros or an introduction to a segment of your video. Okay, let's take this off. I will tell you that introducing a video filter on a track uh, using the video action will not work in terms of it transitioning in. Let me show you. Add video action, then add my video filter, select Gaussian blur, and as you can see, it's been added and there is a transition here. However, that blur does not fade in, which you might expect. As you can see there, the blur is fully introduced as soon as the video action is introduced. So I'm gonna show you a trick here of how to do that. Instead, add your video filter first. I'm gonna add my blur. And then whatever the selection is in that video filter, bring it down to zero. So in effect, there is a filter on this track right now, but you can't see it. Okay, so in order to actually introduce that video filter, I'm now going to add a video action and then adjust the radius of my blur. So now I go back and let's just stretch that out so you can see that the video filter actually transitions in with my video effect. So there you go, a little bit of a workaround. All right, let's extend this a bit further by removing my radius. So I have sort of a, a blurred type of image coming in and out. But let me add another one, blur that again, and then we'll add another one and we'll remove it. I think that's a cool effect, sort of brings that coming in and out of focus effect. Okay, now if you've seen my other video about ScreenFlow 4 about nested clips, let's use this in a practical sense to sort of combine effects. So I'm going to take this one clip and nest it. And then over top of the nested clip, I'm going to also add another video action in regards to size. Actually, let's add several. Up and down a bit. There we go, we'll just, again, we'll just sort of spread them out, adjust the timing, and now the blur effects and the sizing effects should be running at the same time. See that? It actually looks a bit more realistic too. Let me try one more. I'm going to remove these. I'm going to unnest this clip. I'm going to remove this. 
and I'm also going to take off my blur. Okay, let me try another one here. I'm going to add the zoom blur, but I'm going to remove it visibly, even though it's still on here. And let's just say I want to create a transition moving out. So I'm going to add a video action. Whoa, look at that. That's really cool. I definitely want to spread that out. And I also want to make the opacity sort of disappear. Make it a bit quicker. All right, let's uh, nest that clip. And right over top of this, I also want to uh, scale my screen bigger. Started a bit too soon. Cool. Let's also grab a sound effect. Wow, you see that? I just created my own customized transition using video filters, nested clips, video effects, and a sound effect. So that's really cool. And it really didn't take me long at all. I really hope you can see how video filters within ScreenFlow 4 combined with other effects you know, that the program has can really make your videos stand above the crowd and in particular your competition. Take care. Hope you liked that video. Comment below if you got any questions or ideas of your own. I'd like to see what you come up with video filters because it's simply all about your own creativity. Take care. Talk to you soon. Ciao.